August 31, 2019. A woman is working alone in her family's insurance agency when a man walks in. It was all very casual, no red flags. He's asking her some questions, and then he leaves. But when he returns, something's a little odd. He's wearing a different hat. And that's when security cameras capture a frightening scene. The man flashes a knife, demanding cash on the manager's desk. And in an instant, a regular day in the office turns into a life or death situation. This is getting very scary, very fast. He thinks he's going to make a clean, quick getaway with that cash. But I don't think he was expecting what was going to happen next. Instead of handing over the money, the woman immediately takes action, punching the man in the groin. This is absolutely fight or flight. That shock factor would have set most of us into a paralytic fear zone. But in this case, it was the opposite. She went full on fight mode. That's when the knife-wielding thief gets vicious. She starts to struggle with him and they are going at it in the middle of the office floor. As things escalate, the man becomes extremely aggressive, grabbing her by the hair. Pulling a woman's hair is pretty violent and terrifying. He's making this as intimidating and violent as possible because he sees she's not backing down. But incredibly, this woman stands her ground even as he tries to force her back towards the desk so he can grab all that cash. He drags her across that office, and she looks like she's fighting for her life. At times, the robber's knife is just inches from the woman's face. This is not a fair match at all. Then, it seems like the woman is going to get a break. The customer starts to walk in the door. It seems as if there may be an opportunity for some help. But that customer sees what's happening, decides they don't want any part of it, and they leave the store. To her dismay, the woman is alone again, desperately trying to fend off this robber. Her name is Concepcion Escalante, and the 23-year-old says that day felt like time seemed to stand still during the lightning quick attack. It felt like it was like 10 minutes, and. I thought I was screaming or saying something, but I wasn't. For Concepcion, it begins as a routine day. She's just a couple hours away from finishing her workday when the nightmare unfolds. I used to normally be alone on Fridays and Saturdays, and it was never a problem before. When I saw the knife, I thought it was a joke at first. I thought maybe someone was just playing a joke on me. Just 20 minutes earlier, the same man had walked into the office looking and acting very different. First time he came in, he asked for an insurance quote. So I just said, well, I need your ID and I need the VIN number. So he said, oh, I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll just come back. So I didn't think it was weird. Just thought he's in a rush. The man has no intention of going to get his license. Instead, he returns, oddly, in a different hat, flashes a steak knife, and demands cash. But even then, at first, Concepcion thinks she can get rid of him easily. I just thought, OK, well, maybe if you take away the knife, well, he'll go away, which he didn't, and I didn't grab the knife. Not in time. When she realizes the man intends to rob her, she's angry. I was just really mad at being a family business. Definitely made me want to not let him take it. When you're angry, your brain sends off chemicals that cause your muscles to tense up to be prepared for, for warfare. And Concepcion is determined to wrestle the man's weapon away from him. I thought he dropped the knife. So I bent down to try to pick it up, and that's when we fell backwards. That's when things really escalate. The man kicks her hard in the ribs, and with the knife still in his hand, there's no telling what he'll do next. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go when we fell. Is he gonna try to stab me? If he decides to use that knife, this is gonna go to a whole other level. This could get really bad really quickly for her. 
It turns out the man has been watching her for a while, casing the business from the window, paying close attention as she handles several large cash transactions. We had been walking in front of the office for about a couple hours, but I didn't notice I wasn't really looking. He sees as she receives $1,500 from one customer and helps count out thousands more for another. They were purchasing a car, and I counted a four grand in front of them, and then I gave it back. So then they left. But I think he thought I kept that money. At first, she's stunned when the man demands the money. But she quickly decides to fight back. I don't think he counted on me being so mad. I spend more than eight hours there to make hard money for him to just come and take it away. I was scared, but I, I think I was still more mad. One of the scariest parts is that she's alone. And as the man violently drags her around the room by the hair, she can't even get to a phone to dial 911 for help. I think a lot of us would have just given up because we would have been in such sheer terror. But in her case, she fought even harder. But she gets her break when the robber becomes distracted by that cash he is trying so hard to steal. The cash is trying to go all over the place. As he's trying to fend her off, he's trying to scramble to get whatever cash falls on the floor. With her attacker reaching for the cash, Concepcion makes her move, grabbing him tightly by the neck and pushing him closer to the door. That's where the robber gives her one final shove and then finally gives up and races out the door with about $1,000. This guy, he thinks he's going to make a quick buck but she flipped the switch, and she became the hero in the situation. And he went running with his tail between his legs. Concepcion is shaken up, but luckily not hurt. After he ran off, I called my sister, and I just kind of sat, sat on one of the desks, and I just sat there crying. A worker at a nearby store calls police, who arrive and review the surveillance footage. They identify the suspect as 47-year-old Cesar Sarmiento Cruz, the same man they believe has been robbing local businesses for weeks. Detectives told her they think he is the same guy who also robbed a liquor store in another business on Saturday before coming here. When Concepcion's family watches the surveillance footage of her frightening ordeal, they are stunned. It was really hard like watching it. You feel defenseless, not being able to help her. Like, maybe I should have been there um, with her, not let her work alone. And to her family's astonishment, the very next day, Concepcion insists on coming right back to work. Though, with her attacker still on the loose, she's on edge. I was scared probably the first few weeks, even to go anywhere. So I was like, okay, what if he comes back? She was scared that he was going to come back, and she was like, finish off the job, is what she kept on telling us. So she couldn't even stay home alone. Then, about two weeks later, police arrest her attacker.